Yo, so today we're going to be talking about something that really gets on my nerves, alright? And I know you see the title and are like, wow, you're so mean. Why would you say that about somebody? But today we're going to be talking about a motherfucker in One Piece that should have been dead a while ago. He should not be running around and, and be perfectly fine, is what I'm saying. I wish he was dead, and it'd be for the best if he was dead. <laughs> this dude has been knocking on death's door more times than I can count. So, this guy right here, his name's Kinemon. If you watched up to post time skip in One Piece, you probably have heard of him a few times. We've known about him since about Punk Hazard. He's the first guy we ever met from Wano, from what I remember at least. He's a fucking swordsman, and he teaches Zoro a bunch of shit, like the, the fox fire shit. You know, that goes pretty hard. Zoro loves those. He was an honorary straw hat for a long ass time. Him and Momo... He was kind of like another Frankie type of character in the crew, you know, that kind of uncle dynamic type of figure that we all know and love. But he suffers from a syndrome I'd like to call Pell Syndrome. Pell Syndrome patients suffer from a myriad of symptoms, but the main one is they're fucking immortal and, and they can't die even if it's for the best and it benefits the story and their character the most. They just can't fucking do it. Pell Syndrome started when, you know, a guy who, shocker, his name was Pell, took a fucking nuke in Alabasta and flew up into the sky, taking the whole explosion on himself, supposedly sacrificing himself for all of Alabasta. You know, what a great guy. He, he died for a fucking kingdom, saving everybody. He died a hero, except he fucking lived. He tanked a nuke, point fucking blank, walked away unscathed. He was perfectly fine. And now, whenever anybody sees Pell, all anybody can think of is how he should be dead. If he just died there, he'd be remembered as a hero. But no, it's completely the opposite. It would have been an emotional moment that actually meant something. But no, it was emotional initially when you thought he actually died there. But let's say you rewatch One Piece and see that death scene in quotes. You won't feel shit from it. You know it will mean absolutely nothing in the long run. For example, a guy like Whitebeard, you'll always cry for his death because he actually fucking died there. But anyway, back to Kinemon. Now that I explained that he suffers from Pell Syndrome, you'll get what I'm about to say. So Kinemon on Wano had about two death scenes set up for him, and they were executed perfectly, at least the first one was. The first one being right after the Akazaya 9 took on Kaido and he got fucking pummeled. They were all slumped on the fucking ground. They were destroyed. This is specifically really emotional on episode 1015 in the anime. Fucking beautifully done. And the anime took a few extra steps and making it seem like this was the end of the fucking road. For Kinemon, making him cough up blood everywhere. He was good as gone. It would have been perfect if he just died in Luffy's arms right there. Law teleports them to some random ass room when Kaido's about to hit him with a Raimi Haki. And they all live somehow. But that's not it. That's that's not the end of it, alright? That is only the first instance of Pell Syndrome, okay? And that one wasn't nearly as severe. Although, it would have been wonderful if he died there, okay? I, I would have loved Kinemon forever if he died there. But the second one is just heinous. So Kaido, after knocking Luffy off of Onigashima, is just kind of running around, fucking up random people, and starts with the Akazaya 9 and Momo. Specifically, Kinemon and Kiku. Kinemon gets absolutely fucked, as he should, but he gets fucking skewered by a sword and he just kind of sits there for the rest of the Onigashima raid with a sword in him. Just sitting there like a goddamn kebab. But guess what? He's still alive. Now that second death scene would have been worse than the first one like I said. The first one in my opinion would have just, it would have been beautiful, it would have been fucking perfect, it would have been poetic. I would have loved that so much but no, now it means pretty much nothing. It just frustrates me because I would have liked and appreciated Kinemon a lot more if he was fucking dead. But yeah, that's about it. Just wanted to make a little short video about this shit, you know. It is very common knowledge that Oda hates killing characters and Pell's whatever because who really cares about him? He's not that important of a character anyway. But the shit he did with Kinemon twice, I, I constantly find my mind going back to it because we've known about him for so fucking long. But uh, yeah.